right now on Party Police. If you give me any heat, you're going to jail for public intoxication. Do you understand that? <laughs> yeah, you know, oh, yeah, oh my god! It hurts so bad! Don't try to cheat my machine, blow hard. That's not safe! Shut it off! Shut it off! Shut down your engine! Do it now! <laughs> Fight me, Jack. Huh? Put your hands up. Put your wrist behind your back, my boy. Hold, hold. Don't try and get squirrely on me, okay? Don't do it, buddy. Relax. Don't do it. You want to fight with me? Hey, I'll go lap dance to share. Sir, sir. You're under arrest. What the hell? Put your hands behind your back. Robert, I'm Let's sitting go. here. You're going to listen to me, okay? I thought it was all fun and games. I'm not interfering with you, sir. I'm a deputy sheriff. I'm not here for fun and games, okay? Yeah, it's the first day of spring break here in Lake Havasu. There's going to be plenty of college kids out here, and it's going to get pretty wild. On the California-Arizona border, Lake Havasu is a party oasis. Nearly 100,000 college students descend on the lake every year for spring break. Havasu! Copper Canyon's been a popular spot now for a long time. No bigger than a couple football fields, and uh, it's one of the most popular party places in the nation. And what it is, it's, it's a cove basically with a rock in the middle. And what, what people do is they pull boats up side by side and tie off until your movement's limited to what you, you know, you can barely leave at night. This lake pretty much becomes a freeway in here. And Californians, Arizonians, Nevada people come down here. Just in Copper Canyon alone, you can get anywhere from 100 to two or 300 boats. Every boat seems to have about 10 to 15 people on board. And typically, it's right now, at this time of year, it's just all the kids coming from school and they're all drinking, having a good time, happy to be away from school for a week. And I can see beer bongs and all the alcohol being consumed. And it's all fair to say that it, once anybody adds alcohol, anything goes. We're the party police. We're here to make sure you have a good time, have fun, and be safe. Hello. Well, we got a boat up here with a transom rider. We're going to. Uh... Go see what they're up to and handle it. Yeah, I stopped them because of you there, young lady. Sorry. You can't sit back there? She had her feet out on the gun on uh, the transom back there. She's gotta be inside the boat. Okay. Okay. All right, see what is it, five miles an hour or less? Yeah, it's five miles an hour now. Come here, driver. Let me talk to the driver. Step back, will you? Been drinking it all today? No. You're a designated driver yep. today? Yeah. Let me see your eyes. Okay, put your glasses back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've been good all day. Yes, they are. <laughs> or his eyes. <laughs> I, I thought you were talking about his eyes. And he's better than the girl with pasty. Check this out. They match. All right. Aren't those pretty? Those are pretty. All right. All right, Thank thanks, Be safe. Bye-bye. Thanks. Had a little transom rider there, and uh, they got a verbal warning. They're obviously having fun. Even though you know, it is spring break, and we usually have a lot more students than we have normal people, but I mean, it's this place is world, world known, so everybody knows about it, and they know that spring break is when all the big parties are going on. And uh, a lot of your people that have already been to school and they want to come out and have a party and relive their youth again. We're going to stop this guy right up here for a registration violation. It looks like he has an 06 tag. Yeah, and he's got a beer in his hand, too. Hey, come here. Out here, I want to talk to you. Your registration's expired, my man. Yeah. I did. I was doing a water test on this car route yesterday. Yeah? OK, why don't you come over here and step on my boat? Okay, yeah. have a seat. Yeah, 
a seat for me. I want to try to see how much blood alcohol you got in your body. All right, all right. Okay? Okay, go ahead, blow. Blow, 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 keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. Good. No cigarettes. <laughs> okay. My machine says you're a point one, two, three. What's that mean? Too much? Yeah, you're almost twice the legal limit. Are you serious? I'll Honestly. tell you what's gonna happen now. I'm gonna place you under arrest for operating under the influence, right. okay? Am I gonna have to handcuff you or anything? Gonna be a problem? Got all these kids here. You know you got child off, molesters man. sitting over there? All those child you molesters. You got child molesters, you got bank robbers, you got drug dealers, you're gonna take me over there. ID and the registration, I want, I want, partner. ID and the registration. Crazy people, right? No, I'm just saying, come on. Okay. You've been talking to me, do I really look that up? All right, that's enough. Like, Let me see your hands. You want to see them? There they are. I'm glad this is on film. Whoa! <laughs> Fight me, Jack. Huh? Oh, come on, pumpkin. Got it? Oh, come on, you're on what, buck 50? Go ahead, put them on, put them on. Just relax, here, dude. You need to relax and go with the program, okay? And quit resisting. I better that. have them. Cool. I'm just telling you right now, you need to calm down, all right. be quiet, and sit down and relax, okay? Open okay, it's all over. You understand that? Yes, sir. You don't need any additional charges. You need to be you. quiet. You ain't got no additional charges. You got kids. Okay, just relax. I'm, tell, I'm telling you right now, that was it. End it. Okay, that's what got you in this predicament anyway. Just relax. No, it is. I'll find my own damn business. You guys want to draw in the sea. Roll yourself over. Turn over here. Sit down right here. Not up there, on the seat. On the seat. Sit. Okay. That's all I gotta say. Whatever you guys do, whatever you want to do. Yeah. I'll see you later. All right, buddy. Pull him over because his uh, registration was expired. Approached the driver, he had a beer in his hand, took a drink out of it. Preliminary breathalyzer showed a uh, 0 0.12 blood alcohol level. Now we're getting book him into the Needles Jail and he can have a good weekend. Coming up on Party Police, the temperature rises and so does the tension. He's trying to break my wrist. Relax. You want to fight with me? Buddy, relax. Don't do it. Relax. You're not gonna win. Get you my ID. You're under arrest. What the hell? You're under arrest. Find your back. Please. You got what in, you wanted. In, in front of God. In, in God's wrath. Can I talk to you? About this time of the day, people would have crept in late last night. They sleep in a little bit in the morning, go out and have breakfast, and you know, about 11, 12 o'clock, they're getting out on the water and starting to enjoy their day. As you can see, the boat traffic just since we've been out on the water has picked up dramatically. So spring break is here. Summer season's on its way. Hey, go out there. Aloha. Whose boat? My boat. When you guys are underway, you can't be shooting your your water gun. Oh, I didn't people. shoot yet. No, yeah, I saw you. I saw the sea do. The sea do. I know you can't shoot sea do. Okay, oh, sorry. You might blind them. They might crash. Oh, and then you'd be causing a crash. Man. I didn't know that. Sir, so is there anything on your boat that shouldn't be here? No. Marijuana, cocaine, amphetamine. I'm clear. Nothing illegal. Nothing illegal. Do you mind if I took a look? Sure, no problem. Can you walk to the front of the boat for me? Sure. Vibrating That's ring and condom. That's what the hell is it? What is it? Condom, dude. Ring. It's a condom. Just for play safe. Everybody nice. It. Who, who's this belong to? Oh, that's mine. Is this the one you're... I bought it in the same way. I just uh, stuck for uh, three or uh, four years already. I'm going to hold that for right now, okay? Uh, All right, man. Keep everybody inside your boat. Don't uh, let anybody shoot the water guns anybody, all right? All right. Well, a lot of people don't realize, but there's only one way to get to Copper Canyon, and that's via the lake. You've seen people with, uh, with signs on the shore saying, hey, how about a ride to Copper Canyon, or try and use inner tubes to get over there, and they pay people to take them. The party's over there, and that's where they want to be, so they're going to do whatever it takes to get over there. She's 
sitting on the back sun deck. There's two girls up there. That's why we're stopping. Shut it off! Hi, how are you doing? Good. Do you guys have enough life jackets on board for everybody? Um. Okay, what I want you girls to do, everybody stand up, look under the seat. Everybody needs to hold up a jacket. Pull them out. We have them up here. Okay, that's fine. Start pulling them out and passing them back. They have nine back here. Look at all the fellers wearing. What's up, guys? Hey, what? You got this on camera, baby? <laughs> There's none in that other seat. What? Your girls look great in those. You know, you look great. I love them. Are they all hot? On board? Yeah. Go ahead and have a seat right there. You're under arrest? For not having enough life jackets? Look, I swear it is not his fault. He, he did us a favor. We were laying on I that island, I, I, and, I understand and we that. called him down. We're like, hey, can we have a ride? And the, he was nice. Enough. He's not even drinking. I know. It's no, great. See, but I, it's really not his fault. I understand that. But you see, it's not he's, putting, he's putting three of you passengers in really? danger. I'm going to cry. We put ourselves we're in danger. Ossifer. Yeah. Ossifer. <laughs> Ossifer. <laughs> You realize that's not a, you didn't know that was a arrestable offense? No, that was an arrestable. It's not, it's only I'm only joking. This guy's messing with me right now. I'm dead scared. Your signature right here, please. And you guys are free to go. All right, go ahead and put all the jackets back. He had a boatload of people. The boat was not overweight, uh, but it didn't have enough life jackets, which we fixed. But he had the responsibility of, the de of being the designated driver, and he was doing his job. Can't fault him for that. How, how big is it? We got a guy over here that's flagging us down. Looks like he might have an injury. He said they jumped from a boat to another boat and apparently hit his uh, shin real hard. Got something tied around his leg. Looks like there's some scrapes or something on his leg. We'll go see what he what he needs. Oh my god! Yeah, I got a body bag. Oh yeah, put me in that. Oh, oh my god! Nothing. Paper towel. So bad. You don't want me to call you an ambulance or anything, is that right? It's pretty bad. Nah, he's just packed. Well, yeah, I, I, I could take you to the shore to a... Uh, Dude, I'm, I'm really okay. Like, it didn't even hurt. Yeah. He's probably going to grab a big ass. Yeah, well, it's going to hurt later, trust me. Dude, you can't do anything to hurt me, I guarantee you. We're going home tomorrow. It's all right. I got all day to enjoy the food. All right, but hey, you're going to need some uh, stitches in that to try to get to the yeah. doctor later on, all right? Yeah, I know. Be careful going over. All right. Good to show you Spring Breakers out here to have fun. It's uh, alcohol first and body second. One of the major problems we encounter out here is with the personal watercrafts that are rented out. Unfortunately, these companies that rent these boats out, they basically just hand in the keys to people that are non-educated boaters. <laughs> you know, they don't pay attention to what they're doing. They need to pull the grate, get it off of there. They're never going to get it. Better off just towing it in, but they want to do it now in the water. It's not going to work. They'll keep them busy for a little while, though. This is the time of year we get these kind of people. They, they don't come out here very often, and then they hop on a jet ski with no training or experience, and that's what happens. Hey! Just tow it in! If you keep tipping it over, you're going to sink that thing, and it ain't going to start anyway now with all the water in there. Trust me, just tow it. I've been there before. Just tow it. A lot of these watercrafts, they, you know, they're twin turbocharged, they can go up to 65, 70 miles an hour. And for some reason, a lot of the people, as soon as they get the keys, they become instant jerks. And hey, there's a guy on the jet ski over there. I'm gonna go grab him. Looks like he's driving recklessly. Turn it up. 
Is this yours? Oh, actually, it's my house. All right. You can't, if, see, you got you people on the beach, you got people in the water. Yes. You got to be like 200 feet away from those, otherwise, you got to go at a no wake speed. Oh. And you're doing donuts and turning around. I'm and, sorry, I was. Are you okay to drive today? Yes, sir. All right. Do me a favor, get on my boat real quick. Okay. I got it. How much have you had to drink today? Uh, one beer. Just one? Are you taking prescription drugs or something? Uh, actually, I You think it's safe to be drinking beer and taking Vicodin? I only drink one. No. Go ahead and stand up for me. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up. Turn away from me. Turn away from me. You want to fight with me? Put hey, your hands behind your back. Put your hands dude. behind your back. Hey, relax. I'm trying to, but he's trying to break my wrist. Relax. What's his name? What's your name? Train. Train, huh? You could uh, immediately tell that he'd been drinking. He was uh, obviously intoxicated. So I placed him under arrest. Trying to get the handcuffs on him. Initially, he wanted to resist. What wasn't going to let me handcuff him. So he used a little force to restrain him. He realized he was going to go to jail, and he, he complied at that time. But I'm the father of Anna Nicole's baby. Coming up on Party Police, more trouble on the water. Don't try to cheat my machine, blow hard. Weed. We got weed. What the hell? Put the hand behind your back. I thought it was all fun and games. I'm not interfering with you, sir. I'm a deputy sheriff. I'm not here for fun and games, OK? Canyon, and you can see um, there's a rock that's pretty much in the center of it, and to the left, there's a large rock that has a, a peak to it. And that's uh, usually where a lot of people will go up and jump off of. Locals call it dive rock. They come out here, it's about 30 feet up, jump off. This is legal, right? Sometimes they'll get really crazy and go up from about 100 feet up. In a, lot of, in a lot of cases, the people are very intoxicated, and sometimes they don't come up. Yeah, I've actually jumped off that cliff numerous times when I was younger. But uh, after seeing what I've seen out here, people dying, I, I don't think I'd do it again. I've been coming out to Lake Havasu in the Colorado River area since uh, probably before I was five years old. Basically, when I came out here and growing up, we did a lot of skiing and water sports. In the last 10 years, I've seen a, a huge increase of people come to the lake. Now it's more like a big a nightclub uh, party zone. Gotta slow down, huh? Are you a Marine? Yes. You been drinking, Marine? Don't lie to me. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit? Yes. Ah. Are you a Marine? Yes, I am. Have you been drinking? Uh, maybe I have one beer to this Ah, oh, jeez. What's your rank? Lance Corporal. Lance Corporal. What are you? Lance Corporal. Lance Corporal. So I guess my son, the sergeant, wouldn't be too happy right now, would he? The sergeant would not be very happy. Bro. The sergeant would not be very happy, would he? <laughs> hey, I'll call him, give him your ID number and your name. That wouldn't be too good either, right? I don't think I'll do anything. Drinking and driving. How many you had? One, two. My son grew up out here, and he never drank and drive my boat, ever. It's not cool. Blowing here like a balloon. Blow hard. Don't try to cheat my machine. Blow hard. One more drink, you're over the limit, and you go to jail. Do you understand that? You guys are kind of like me, right? You held to a higher standard, right? Don't blow it. Don't be stupid and ruin your career from drinking and driving. You understand? No more for you today, period. OK? If I see you later and you're one point higher, you're going with me. OK? Family or not. See you later. I got it. I got a girl over here. 
here. I'm in the back of this boat losing her lunch. We're gonna make contact with the driver, see if he's sober, and uh, make sure she's okay. Hey, I know the young lady might be a little sick, but uh, she can't be hanging off the back of the boat while you're underway. Oh, get out. Matt, get, get out. out. You're going to have to. You're going to have to. Get out of there. Okay. Sorry, Come on over. Okay, man. You have to get the. All right. I got you. Why don't you have a seat right here? And. So how many you had today, you think? I had four at about 10, probably. Four at about 10. OK, yeah. could you take your glasses off for me? Oh, yeah. Okay. Where are you from? Sundance, Wyoming. Sundance, Wyoming. Wyoming? What school do you go to? University of Wyoming. University of Wyoming? What are you taking? Chemical engineering and chemistry. Chemistry? Okay, so you know what this is all about, right? I know everything there is to know about this little machine right here. <laughs> okay. You're just going to do a long, steady, hard breath, okay? Right. I'm going to kill. I'm gonna tell you blow, 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 and then I'll tell you to stop, okay? Right now. Okay, go ahead. Blow, blow, blow. Come on, come on. Can't cheat my machine. Blow hard. Come on. Come on, young guy like you. Stop. If you know everything about this machine, you know you can't cheat it with a little... No, I know. Little you breath. Blow into it and it picks it up. Right. You see that? Yeah. It's a .168. Legal limit in California is a .08. Oh my God. Yeah. Thank you a lot. You haven't drank in a long time. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pl place you under arrest okay. for boating under the influence. Okay. Okay. What's gonna happen now is we're gonna take you to the station. They're gonna book you in. They're gonna let you sober up, and then they'll release you in about f five to six hours. All right. Okay? You'll be out uh, before the bars close. Okay? Is there anybody that's sober on this boat? No. No? No. We're going to drive you somewhere so you can go park for a couple hours. Troy, I'm going to need somebody to drive this boat and park it for a while. We're all where? Have been to drinking. contact. They've all been drinking. Nobody is sober enough to drive it. You guys, like, us? Like, I don't... Everybody on this boat is obviously way too hammered to operate it, so I'm going to get on board and drive them back to contact point so the rental company can come pick it up. Hey, I'll go lap dance the share. Hold this. <laughs> you ready? No, I hate you! Sit down. No, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sir, sit down. 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 Right now, we just uh, arrested this gentleman for boating under the influence. We didn't have a sober driver. Deputy McComas is going to take the boat and the rest of the passengers to uh, contact point while we take him uh, into custody. Anybody have to go to the restroom? I'll walk you guys up, but we're not going to be partying and having a good time on the docks. No alcohol on the docks. You know what? You just need to shut up, okay? Just relax. Why? Because you're running your mouth and you're interfering with my investigation here. I don't need to hear from you no more. Please. Okay? Please be quiet. Cody, just shut up. All right, Cody, be quiet. Go about your investigation. Stop before you get arrested. Nobody can lay Sir, can I take my life vest off now? Yes, you can. This is we're in a stationary position. Okay, get arrested. Go. Go. Stationary position. You guys are you have ID with you? Yeah. Where's your ID at? Was stationary position just, wrong just listen to me. I've given you too many opportunities to keep your mouth shut. Oh my God. Okay? You're not under you're not under arrest or anything like, like that. Said, I'm I here to help my... you out. Shut up and listen. There you go running your mouth again. Okay? I'm here to help you out. Yeah, that's okay? Awesome. Keep you from on, being on the water with awesome. a drunk boater. Awesome. Okay? We are doing an investigation. Okay. You keep running your mouth. You're interfering with me. I'm taking you to jail. Do you understand? I understand Do you understand? Fully. Then end it. Okay. Okay? That's then, it. Can I ask you a question, sir? One question. That's it. Yeah. When I said, can I take my life vest off oh in a stationary God, position? Hey, the way you're staying right now, with everything to back it up from earlier, you, you got a smart aleck remarks, and we're not dealing with that right now. We want everybody to calm down, okay, to chill as out. as long as I know that saying, can I take my life vest off hey, in a stationary position? you go again. Position. You don't understand what I'm saying. A life vest off in a stationary Keep position. Keep your mouth shut. Oh, excuse me, sir. But a life vest okay. in a stationary Stand up. Stand up. position. Stand up. Oh. What the hell? Put the hands behind your back. A life vest in a stationary position. Got him. It's about cooperation when you're interfering. I'm cooperating. Right I'm just Let's sitting go. here. I did nothing but sit here and ask if I could have a, a light. Take my life vest off in a stationary Step off, position. Please. A life vest in a stationary yeah. position. You got uh, these people, Sam, they're Excuse not me, under sir. arrest or anything like that. We're just sir, waiting sir, for a fun sir. time to get here. Can I talk to you? Please, let me stop. Too late now. Please. You got what in, you wanted. In the, in the front of God, in, in God's wrath, can I talk to you? Talk. You've in the place of you, God. I can't stop you. You've been talking already, so. In the place of God. Talk. 
You have faith? Talk. You have faith in God? What's God got to do with this right here? Right now, I got to tell you, I did nothing wrong. That's what gods have to do with it. Okay. That's what God has you to do with it. You don't understand. You've been interfering with me ever since I got on that boat. I've been sitting in my spot. How did okay. I interfere? You're interfering with me now. Let's walk up here. You're resisting. How did I interfere? Walk up I'm here. I'm not resisting anything, sir. I'm giving but you an I order talk, to walk up here, okay? No, I don't want to stop and talk. Well, we will talk up here. Permission. No, I don't want to walk in the sun. I got shoes right here. Well, I don't want to talk in the you're sun. You're going to listen to me, okay? Those aren't mine. Well, you're going to wear them okay. so you don't burn your feet. Because Let's I, go. honestly, I'm sorry. I thought it was all fun and games. Down there, I'm trying to talk to you. You want to interfere with me? I thought it was all fun and games. I'm not interfering with you, sir. I'm a deputy sheriff. I'm not here for fun and games, okay? I think your job would go better if you had a fun time. A, a better time. It would go well. I'm not discooperating. Everybody on the boat that was with his party had all been drinking. They all became hostile, yelling at him, cursing at him. Uh, it just wasn't a good environment. I mean, it was unsafe for everybody. Uh, the best thing to do was just take him into custody, take him out of the picture uh, for interfering with my investigation. And that's what I did. Coming up on Party Police, the party at Copper Canyon heats up. That's not safe! No! Shut it off! Shut down your engine! Do it now! Put your wrist behind your back, my boy. Oh, oh. Don't try and get squirrely on me, okay? gives you a lot of courage, so uh, a lot of young people out here at spring break, they just don't realize the trouble they can get into uh, if they have the uh, I'm invincible attitude. Right in there. Yeah, they're going to tip that thing over. That's not safe. People don't realize when they drink a lot of alcohol out here, their IQ goes about zero. It's not safe, man. I can't have your boat. I can't have your boat doing that. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Okay. You got a driver? Who's driving? I haven't had anything all day. Nothing all day? Okay. You see what you read what the sign says right there? I've been standing up there. Four people. No, I saw a lot more than four. Can you leave leaving or what? Yeah, we're going to go out and do it. Good. We're just trying to keep everybody safe out here. They're a little out of control. We contacted the renter of the boat. He's going to pull out and they're going to, uh, they're going to go in for the day. Getting to where you get a lot of boats tying up, people uh, moving in and out of boats. We have a lot of people that try and uh, go to other boats, they'll fall, you know, hit their head and they go in the water. It's definitely the, um, the craziest part of the day right now. We just got a call of some people smoking weed in Copper Canyon. Apparently their boat's tied up in the middle of the crowd. Uh, they gave us the description of the boat, so we're going to motor on in there and try to contact the subjects on board. Is that your boat? Why don't you come on over here real quick? Is there anything illegal on it? That's my nose. Nobody smoking marijuana on it? That's my nose. Not to your knowledge. That means there probably I, is, I but have it's not yours. Right, do you mind if the deputy goes over and takes a look on there for any marijuana? Sure. Okay. You don't mind? He's going to do it. He's going to go over and check everybody out real quick. Be done with it. Okay, can I talk to you for a second? You can tell me where the marijuana is at if you want. We'll do it. I swear to God, I have no idea where the marijuana is, but it's somebody that's in the middle of the people. I don't know where. But it might have been somebody else on your boat. That's fine. We can understand that. What is that? What are you going to We'll go look at it. We'll go see what we got, OK? We'll take a look and figure it out. Go ahead and have a seat right there. Promise you'll be friendly. What's that? Promise you'll be friendly, because I have no knowledge. I swear to God. Promise to what? I'm sorry. Be fair to me. I'll totally be fair to you, all right? Have a seat right there. Go ahead and step over. I don't need her 
idea. I know what I'm doing, okay? I don't have weed. I don't smoke weed. That's what I'm saying. Hey, shut your mouth. When you're drinking alcohol in the heat of the day and you mix marijuana with it, it's going to impair your judgment even more. And operating a boat out here, it's not like a car where you can hit your brakes and stop right away. So you really need to have good judgment when you're out here on the water. Next on Party Police. Whoever's not supposed to be on this boat, get off now or everybody goes to jail. This is Survivor Island right now. Are you sober enough to swim? Put your hands up. for 11 years. I've seen people do a lot of crazy things to get to Copper Canyon. However, there's only one way to get there, and that's by water. Looks like these guys try to drive to Copper Canyon to the party. Now they're stuck over here on the beach. I just saw them throw a beer can out the window. We're going to make contact with them, make sure they're not drinking and driving. Hey, guys, how you doing? Stick your hands up for me. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Put your hands up. Anybody else in this car with you? I don't know. No? No. You have ID? I have no ID. None at all? No. Step out of the vehicle for me. Step over here. You have anything on you or anything like that I need to worry about? Uh, Bet you had too much to drink. I don't know. Way too much. Corona. No, no. Tequila. Nothing? No, no, no. You, we saw you throw that out. Uh, Beer? Uh, no. Yeah, too, too much. Back up. Put your hands on the car. No, nada. Nada. You have a seat. Sit. Yes. Down. Down. Way too much. Okay, yeah, he is. No ID. I don't know. Let's look. And there's beer all over this place. More empty cans in the back. <laughs> right now, I'm just trying to find some registration to link this car to them. I'm not finding any, but it's a mess in here. Here, they're both illegals from South America. They have no documentation or driver's licenses. And they're extremely intoxicated. I have no idea what party these guys were going to. Hey, whoever threw that can overboard just now, you pick up 20 cans and I won't write you a ticket. I want 20 cans picked up along with the one you just threw out. I know, I want 20 more for throwing it. That's good, you pick up 20 cans and I won't run a $1,500 ticket. You guys are gonna let her? Oh, oh. Are you sober enough to swim? Have you had a lot to drink? No, I'm good. Okay. Can I hold my glasses? <laughs> yeah. Hang on, to hang on to that until your friends oh, get over a, here. I'm a swimmer. I understand that, but hang on to that. <laughs> we just witnessed uh, one of this uh, people off the party boat over here throw a can overboard. It's, uh, you know, we invite these people out here to come, have a good time, but we sure don't uh, look highly on them uh, trashing our river. So we gave them the opportunity. You pick up that can you dropped, which you did, pick up 20 other cans so you can see all the trash over here, and I won't ride them a $1,500 site. Put them up on the bow of your boat. 
talk to the guy that threw the can in the water in the first yep. place. That's yeah. what you need to talk to. Yeah. 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 It sucks because we've got innocent people going in the water after this stuff. There you go. And now they're complaining because I wasn't nicer to them saying thank you for cleaning up our area. They should be saying thank you for not writing a ticket. It's about 5 o'clock right now. This is the time when uh, the rental companies want their boats back. So for the drunk operators out there, the party's winding down, but it's just beginning for us. All right, guys, hang on. We got a boat up ahead of us sinking. Looks like they got too many people on board. We're going to have to get some of them off. Shut it down now, you got too many people on it. Everybody get your vest on, half of you get off. Start it up and get it on to the shore. We'll meet you there. Let's go. Start it up, get into the back, take it over to the shore. Turn your motor off. You're gonna screw up your prop. How many originally rented this place? 14. Whoever's not supposed to be on this boat, get off now or everybody goes to jail. Right now. Real simple. No, 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 no. Listen up, guys. If this happens again, everybody put a life jacket on. It might look stupid, but it's going to save your life. No, 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 it's going to save your life. All right? Especially taking all that water. Yeah, we're taking a lot of water. This is, only, this is only designed for the number of people that's listed on there. Yeah. Do not exceed that, otherwise it's going to do the same thing. Thank you. Sir, right? thank yeah, you. I agree with that. You are right. The manufacturers, when they manufacture boats, they do it with a specific amount of weight in mind. In this case, they had about four people that they didn't know, so we uh, we had them get off the boat, and the, the boat started uh, floating better. So they're going to head back to the, uh, the shore and... Uh, Coming up on Party Police. I got you, I got you. No, 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 no. You're under the influence of alcohol. If you give me any heat, you're going to jail for public intoxication. Do you understand that? Don't do it, buddy. Relax. Don't do it. you're going to go to jail, okay? Where are you from? Can you understand that? Okay, where are you from? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, okay. How much you had a drink today? How much you had a drink today? Way too much, right? A little bit, huh? Okay. I'm going to go F. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to go F. Okay. Piss me off. Easier for him to go on yours. Here, partner, go ahead and stand up for me. Stand up. There you go. You got it? There you go. Okay. Go ahead and stand here. Turn, turn your wrist behind me. Put, put, your, put your wrist behind your back, homeboy. Don't try and get squirrely on me, okay? Buddy. Relax. Don't do it. Relax. You're not gonna. You're not gonna win. Jump. One, two, stop. 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 Okay, can you jump up there then? Make it as easy as possible. Or just lay back and we'll pull you up. There you go. There you go. Okay. Come on. Come 
your legs over to Travis Murphy. Okay. It's a scenario we come across a lot here in Cobra Canyon. We'll get people that'll be um, left on the shores. They usually get a ride from somewhere, and then the boat takes off, and they're left behind. In this situation, it looked like he was injured. He couldn't even stand up. I came over and tried to talk to him. He's confused, incapacitated. In that situation, we don't want someone swimming away and drowning. Um, so he's going to go ahead and be uh, booked into Needles Jail, and he'll be released in a couple hours when he's sober. Well, what we got here over on the beach is uh, probably about 10 or 15 people without a ride back to shore. Uh, they ride out here with their friends. They go from boat to boat. Their friends leave, leave them stranded. Uh, you can see them over here on the beach with their ice chests and uh, their beards just kind of hanging out, hoping somebody will give them a ride. Obviously, we won't leave them out here. Uh, they don't have clothing or anything to keep them warm. It get pretty cold out here at night. Well, they got a, we got a ride out here, and then they just left because they wanted to go to the bars. Yep. <laughs> they stranded us. <laughs> they, Our boat was full. We, there was like this is Survivor two. Island right now. Yeah. yeah. Was like, I can't do it. I still want to. Okay. So, come on. Joke. Been drinking for what? Almost, yeah, like, almost 12 hours straight. Almost like no, hours. Lost hours. my voice yesterday. Good time. Yeah. Hey, hey, we'll I'll give you the girls. Saturday. You, were, you, guys, you guys, guys aren't getting up the ladies up hey. on your boat. Hey. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, Mark. Same time. Hey, Mark. 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 Okay, finish the beer. Let's go. I haven't got all night, guys. Okay, yeah. 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 Good. Uh, I got you. No, no, no. Push too hard. No, no, no. I got you. I got you. No, 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 no. Oh. That's why I say don't do too hard. You need a push off. Okay. You're welcome. Let me explain one thing to everybody on my boat right now. Okay, you're in California, okay? You're under the influence of alcohol. If you give me any heat, you're going to jail for public intoxication. Do you understand that? Okay? So let everybody cooperate. No jumping out of my boat, no being stupid, all right? If we leave you here, it's a two-day walk to any civilization anywhere. Got it? I want to help you guys out, but I don't want no nonsense. Let's go. I appreciate that. Thank you. Got some assistance from my partners to, to uh, get these people that were stranded out at Copper Canyon. Back to civilization, another happy ending to a fun day at Copper Canyon. See you at Copper Canyon tomorrow. Oh, yeah. A lot of people out in Copper Canyon on spring break, you know, feel a little intimidated because all the law enforcement boats and the presence we have out here. But the message we want to get out to them is that we're not out here to ruin their weekend. We're out here to make sure that everybody's safe. That is the job of the party police.